What's up, everybody? It is Wednesday. Welcome back to the show. Now, we have a lighter news show today, so I wanted to focus completely on these new leaks for Avengers 4 from Reddit. These are all over the internet. A bunch of different websites and places are covering them, and they're almost all completely fake. So I want to talk about the leaks, break down what's real, what's false, and just kind of go over how you can spot the real from the fake on the internet. This is the Nerdy News Rundown, your daily dose for nerdy news. Let's get you filled in. What is up? Welcome back to the show. I am, of course, your host, Josh. And as I said in the intro, we are just going over Avengers 4 leaks, Reddit, why journalism sucks these days, and what is actually going to happen in the second part of Infinity War. I believe even the weakest coffee is stronger than the journalistic integrity of most websites these days. All right, this might get a little bit ranty, but I didn't actually even write a script for today's episode. Let me let me explain what's going on. So, as I sat down this morning, very early in the morning to research what topics I wanted to go over for today's show, most of the hottest articles, most of the stuff that was getting the most buzz online, all had to do with a new set of leaks for Avengers 4 that were reported on on Reddit. I'm talking about pretty credible websites, pretty credible journalistic outlets, all covering these leaks and talking about them online for people. Now, although to be fair to most of these websites, most of these people say, take this with a grain of salt. We can't confirm anything. We don't know if this is real or not. It took me like two more clicks to figure out that they were all completely fake. The Reddit user, a big friend, literally came on and edited to their post yesterday explaining that the leaks were completely fabricated. The dude said he was sick, he, he was bored, he had noticed how another user earlier last year had made completely false leak reports about Avengers 4. They got a lot of buzz on Reddit and so he wanted to mimic that idea. And I expect this sort of thing on Reddit. In fact, it, it appears to be part of the community over there. People will post these like fake things, try to say that they are real. And then what's cool about Reddit is the community over there really chimes in and can kind of be used as a metric to measure the validity of whatever these people are talking about. And so even on that post, a lot of people were calling this dude out. A lot of people saying like, this doesn't make sense. This seems fake. You know, you're kind of contradicting yourself here, yada, yada, yada. But that's not what all of the websites and journalistic outlets did. No, instead, all they did was look at analytical data that showed that this post was incredibly popular, which by the way, it was. The guy had to come out and explain that this was all lying because of how popular the post ended up getting. But yeah, most of these websites and different junkets, they just looked at it, they saw that it was making buzz, and they grabbed the information from with in it and basically chopped up an article that's really just a bunch of search engine optimization, click baiting and, and algorithm hacking in order to get views and clicks on these articles and videos. So let's talk about what was in these leaks just so that all of you can know like what was real and what was not real and, and what we can actually expect with Avengers 4 moving forward. Well, the big crux around the leak had to do with Nebula and Thanos, basically talking about how Nebula was going to form some kind of relationship with Thanos, even though Thanos was gonna be sort of tricking her into believing that he actually cared for her. This led these characters to an inevitable outcome where Nebula would discover a secret of the Soul Stone, realizing that you could sacrifice both what you loved and what you hated to have different effects to the stone. The leaks claim that after the snap, all of the characters that dissolved go into the Soul Stone, which may or may not be true, but it's definitely not confirmed, at least to my knowledge, that that is the case. The leaks propose that somehow Nebula will be able to trap Thanos into the soul stone sort of sacrificing him in a similar way that thanos sacrificed gamora another huge aspect to the leaks is talking about how when the avengers bring the infinity stones from the times before 
into the present, they disappear from Thanos' gauntlet. Now, right now, according to the best leaks and the best theories that we all have for Avengers 4, it is all about the Avengers getting their own Infinity Stones. And although this is very confusing, and we gotta see how this is gonna work with time travel exactly, I believe that there will actually be two sets of Infinity Stones present at one time in the film. In the leaks by a big friend, he talks about how that is not the case, how the stones will actually disappear when they are brought back into the present, and the real strategy for the Avengers is actually just disarming the gauntlet that Thanos has you know, from the gems. The leaks go on to talk about how there will be a big showdown in Wakanda, essentially redoing the ending battle from Infinity War, but without the gauntlet. Talking about how Thanos will put up a good fight, but he's not going to be able to beat them all without the stones. They all sort of gang up on him, and then Nebula flips the script and, and basically makes Thanos become trapped within the Soul Stone. There was another big part about how at the Battle of New York, Captain America is going to sacrifice himself so that Iron Man can get away from Thanos, who will come after the Avengers as they are time hopping to try to prevent them from screwing up his gauntlet. So there are many more details within the leaks, and I will say this, I will give a big friend credit. He went in there, tried to make it all seem as realistic as possible. He wrote just this massive, massive post about all of these different things, and he did a good job trying to make it look legit. But anyone with a critical eye and anyone who has been following what the other leaks are talking about they, they they had to have known that this comes in conflict with a lot of the plot points that we think avengers 4 will tackle and so the big story here the main thing that i want to get across to viewers is that if you see an article or a video talking about some of the things i just mentioned from leaks and uh, claiming that they will take place in avengers 4 for the most part, these are completely false, 100% false. This is exactly what happened with the Cine Europe footage too. It's so weird, right? People talked about that event, talked about this scene between Ant-Man and Iron Man, and that scene apparently never happened. It never aired. And so we're in this really weird phase right now with content on the internet. Everyone wants to be first. Everyone wants to get as many views and clicks early in a topic so that they can have authority in a search algorithm. And I mean, trust me, I get it. I mean, that's that's pretty much what I do here on the channel. I, I try to make sure we have the best shot at, as possible for the content to get out to as many people as possible that are interested in it. But this isn't journalism. That's, that's not how you do this. You don't grab some popular piece and, and then try to figure out an SEO'd article just so that you can get all these clicks. It leads to all this mass confusion and, and just a lot of disinformation out there online. I don't know exactly what the solution for this kind of stuff is but the sad reality is it probably falls on channels like this one and other channels out there on YouTube and different people that make content on the internet to actually inform people properly and try to give them like the best information about what's actually going on so like it's funny because like we're not journalists like I never claim to be journalists over here even though we are doing a news show it is really based on the fan perspective but having said that I do try to actually accurately report what is going on out there. I mean, we get stuff wrong. You know, I get stuff wrong all the time. I try to correct it when I can. But but what I experienced this morning is I was looking for information about Avengers 4, the plot leaks, what was actually happening. I just saw really bad journalism, really, really clickbaity stuff from websites and trades out there that are supposed to be respectable. I mean, these are the people that I go to to try to filter through the crap to see what's actually happening. So, so let me finish this show and this this video in general by trying to explain like what do we know about Avengers 4 like what's legit and what is not so if you saw the Avengers 4 plot leak video that I did yesterday that video contains the most accurate information about what we think will happen in Avengers 4 this stuff and those leaks are all based on concept art 
for the next movie. The Reddit user that posted those leaks has a history of being more accurate and actually having good sources than anybody else out there that's, that's posting speculation theories or leaks. So the baseline plot here does involve the Avengers using Hank Pym's technology, going into the quantum realm and finding infinity stones from different times or different realities. The Avengers are going to use that stuff to try to formulate their own infinity gauntlet and fight Thanos. That basic plot point along with a few other interesting tidbits about what individual characters will be doing is the baseline for what we think will happen in Avengers 4. Everything that gets more specific than that is all speculation because here's the thing, a lot of this stuff could change concept art and basic plot points for a film man those things get changed all the time and currently avengers 4 is doing reshoots and it will literally reshoot from now till about the end of the year and then they'll go back into post punch everything up and have everything edited for the film which comes out around this time next year and so all sorts of things could change. They could add completely different subplots. They could cut certain arcs from the film. All sorts of stuff will change. But the basic idea of Ant-Man using his tech, combining it with Tony, going back in time to get the stones, that is the baseline for what we think will happen. There's Captain Marvel stuff. Like I said, I did that whole video yesterday which breaks down the legitimate leaks. So go check that out if you are interested. But I just wanted to talk about what was going on with Avengers 4. All of the stuff that you are seeing online right now is completely false. So please don't be fooled by all that stuff. It's not real. So that's going to do it for today's show. I, I don't know. It is kind of a weirder news show, but I just wanted to address that. I was so frustrated as I was researching stuff for the Avengers 4 story. Man, it's just crazy how many people report. I guess you could call it fake news out there just to get clicks. So that's the story. Wanted to clarify for all of you guys. I hope this video gets a ton of views so that it sets the record straight. And please let me know your thoughts about Avengers 4. Like, have you heard different things? Uh, how much have you researched into the validity of the leaks? Are you seeing a lot of these articles pop up? Let's have a conversation about what's actually happening in Avengers 4 in the comments section below. You can click below to watch more dope videos. You can click our icon to subscribe to get all of our future content. As I always say, I hope you are having an awesome and nerdy day and I will see you in the next video.